Hey there, everybody. This is CERN. I've been programming again, and I came up with something new that you guys are going to want to know how to do. Um, I've had uh, some success with my shine effect, but I just upgraded it today. And it can do some pretty cool things now that it couldn't do before. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm looking at a shine effect that's just making that little glow go across the screen. No big deal, right? So we've got a color. It's a fairly, um, fairly dark color. You can change the color to make it brighter. It combines the glow effect and all that stuff. Um, we've had speed, but we added two new things, start adjust and stop adjust. And what that does is this shine effect, if we go and look at it, um, go look at the Luma wipes. This shine effect um, is just a gradient, okay? So it's just a simple gradient. Where is it? From side to side, like linear top left, right? So if we look over here, it'll say um, little wipes. Yep, literally linear top left. Well, the linear top left one, um, if we look at that, it's, it's different than one that has an image in it. So linear top left looks like just a simple gradient. There's not any place in it that is that has an image. We have some other ones, though, that do have images in it. Let's say we had a skull effect. Let's put a skull on the screen here, right? Watch this. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, okay, so there's our skull. I put it to 100 so we can see it come in and out quicker. But notice there's a flash. So if I slow it down half, notice it flashes. And the reason it flashes is because this skull skull has a black background. And the black background means that this it goes from black being 0 to white being 1. So at the zero time it shows all the black. So we get a flash. Okay, but we don't always want a flash. So it doesn't seem like a big like that big a deal here. Um so let's see what we can do about it. Well well now because we have the start adjust and stop adjust, on start adjust I can say since black is zero, let's just make it 0 0.02 to be our start. So we'll adjust it to be 0 0.02. And now that flash is cut off. So no more flashes. It's just the just the graphic. If, if our background color was white, we could use the stop adjust and adjust that, that just a little bit. So white gets cut out. Okay, so how does this how does this affect things? Well, let's make this color a little bit brighter. Let's make it pink. Let's have a pink skull. And let's change it from a skull. Let's see, where's our pink skull? To some hearts. All right, so now, now we have some hearts. See how smooth that is? If we didn't have the start adjust, our hearts wouldn't just be an animation. It would be, it would have a flash, and then it would be in an animation. Watch this. That flash kind of cuts out our eyes from being able to see the beginning of the of the whole anime of the whole white uh, shine. You know, because our eyes see the flash, so you don't see the beginning of the shine. So now with this, I don't have the flash anymore. Boom, and it makes a big difference. The other thing that it does is if we turn on hide, look at this. It's hiding only the part that is dark, right, or that is colored. If I turn it to zeros, right, when the hide comes by, okay, so it's on right now, the hide, the flash comes and it hides everything. If I turn this to be point one, 
now we're only hiding the image. Hey, Sublime, how you doing? Look at this heart right here. That's right. That's kind of warm. Hold on. Okay. Um, so that's a big improvement. That's a really big, and welcome to the stream there. Sublime Kelly son. Okay, so notice how the height effect now is only only hiding part of the screen. It's not hiding everything. Now that's wow. Okay, well that's pretty interesting. What can we do with that? To be honest. Okay, here the hide hit everything because I had it at zero. Here now it's only hiding the heart. Let's, I don't know. Let's look. Let's look for another interesting like. Picture. Um, let's turn up the speed a little bit. Okay, so this is hiding only part of the screen. <laughs> Air horn. Okay, that's interesting. That one wasn't made for. Uh... Okay, here's one with the OBS logo. Okay, that that one. Wipe through everything because it's a gradient. Look for one for with a solid background. Oh, this one has kind of a solid background. Whoop. Yeah. Wow. So we could use this to hide sections of the screen. Let's go over. Oh, look at this new background I made. The matrix. Turn off hide. I just want to show this off for a second. Do you have this new matrix shine? Pretty awesome. But if I hide, I'm only hiding the matrix things. Where can we use this? What where can what can I show you? Something that might be good. Let's say you had a let's say you had a stream where you have a whole bunch of different pictures everywhere and you want to only show some of them. Uh, I'm thinking for oh, here we go. Boom. Wow. Okay, so you could do something like this, where the hide, I, I can bring back more. Let's put this on glitch. Okay, I'm hiding on glitch. And I'm just using my mouse scroller to, to increment this stuff. So now I'm at 0.4 to 0.4, which, you know, ends up being 0.4 to 0.6 or whatever. So I'm only, I'm only doing part of, part of the graphic. So now you can dynamically show different parts of your screen. Pretty wild. 